Heavenly Father, help me to take refuge in you, to know that you are good and you are the only thing that is good, the only thing that can save, the only source of life, and the righteous judge of all. I pray this in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, today I feel so mm, radiant. There's something in the air for me today that, um, yeah, with your energy, God, I feel feel so abundantly alive um this i where i this probably came from a whole slew of factors finishing up the presentation um exercising a cold shower beautiful um dinner with friends being able to um clean things up talking with people with other brothers god I felt so uh, lightened today, and and I I just felt like I had an entirely new perspective of gratefulness for taking each day at a time and to slow down. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm rushing to finish up my last couple of months at Georgetown to graduate, to get into the work life, into the workflow. But I still have 60 days um, ish. And yeah, every day is an entirely new life for me to experiment with to discover that you have provided me lord i see different people every day different animals different trees and every time there are little shades of difference or little sounds are different each day is so unique god and i'm so thankful that you have provided all of them to me so far for um, sixty thousand, uh, sixty seven, eight, ten thousand days, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that I've been given such an opportunity to be alive for so long, to have so many beautiful moments. And Lord, I entrust that you'll give me even more beautiful moments to see your glory in this nature. In this life and the people around me, the conversations, the joy, the tears, all of it encapsulates what you have provided for us. And that without Jesus, none of it would be possible. For he is our center, our hope, and our foundation of what we rely on at every moment that we may look to him as someone who is able to be so inhumanly, yet humanly perfect that we can never be. Let all praise, all glory, and all strength always go back to you, Jesus. That whatever sensations or spiritual highs that I may feel, let it remain consistent with how you are consistent with your love and your care. That tomorrow I may feel so entrenched in work and so stressed, but still your mercy resides the same. Wow, that's contagiously beautiful. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen. (sighs) 
Heavenly Father, you are omniscient and all-knowing, and there are no secrets in this world that can be hidden from you, especially not from me, which I have kept too many. But, Lord, I, um, yeah, I, I ask you for wisdom, God, that, uh, I'm not sure the best way to put this, but recently I've been, <laughs> um, yeah, recently I've been, uh, thinking about someone, and, I I would just like to have good, faithful wisdom from you, Lord, in approaching this kind of situation. Because I know that I'm graduating in just two months. I don't know where I'm going to be in the spring, or if especially like since it's my senior year and their senior year as well. Just that plans are... Um, not necessarily intersecting for for anybody if I were to date anybody at this point in life, and so God, the fact that you've placed them here right now um placed me here and to uh frankly generate feelings um for me <laughs> kind of weird to be asking you use this about like relationship advice, but um. <laughs> Yeah, I just, God, I just pray that I'll be able to um, be bold, be wise, um, have faith that whatever plans you have for me, that they will come to fruition. And whatever doors may close, let me accept them with uh, faith and with uh A gentle attitude that you provide all things and those things that you would not like me to have at the moment, you take away, Lord. Um, so yeah, I pray that as I continue to uh, spend the rest of my days here at Georgetown, I'll get to know that person more and see what opportunities that you may provide. Yeah, and ultimately just help my heart to be still. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's um. <sighs> there was a long period of my life when I was tempted heavily by a prior relationship, and I I never want that again, Lord. Where a relationship becomes the center of my life. Um an idol for me, even. Not necessarily the other person's fault, but just my own configuration of how you become inferior to a human and to the idea of that human. Help me to never fall into that trap again. Help me to be able to learn from these mistakes that you have so generously pointed out for me. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of character building um, because of you, Lord, over the past year, past two, three years. I've done, I, I would say that I've changed significantly at my time here at college. And I pray that um, mistakes that I've made, lessons I've learned, let them not go to waste. Help me to glorify you above all, to have faith above you. To have faith of you above all. And to know that my strength comes from you. Nothing else. And nothing more. And I just pray all this in your son's name. Amen. Mm. Heavenly Father. I thank you for this day. Um, the pleasures that I have with my friends, my community, the work that I do, the 
the events I see and participate in. Lord, you are good. You are, you provide for me in these times of, of abundance, and I know that there are seasons of uh, drought and uh, oppression and persecution coming in the future, but you have blessed me with this time of peace and uh, prosperity. Help me to cherish that, Lord. Help me to really fully accept and realize so much that I have is unwarranted, undeserved. And help me to be a good steward of these items, of my time, of my opportunities, Lord. Um, especially that of, of tomorrow when I am um, going to Canada to visit my my friend, my uh, my best friend, yeah, who I uh, haven't met before <laughs> in person. So I just pray that, yeah, being in a country, um, sometimes by myself, sometimes with her, that you would keep me safe, Lord, um, and that you would bring me there for whatever reason that you desire. Uh, this is a sacrifice and also um, a privilege. One that I am um, spending a weekend there having to do extra work beforehand to prepare, to catch up, but also being able to enjoy this time um, and to meet someone who is very dear in my life. Uh, I pray that, yeah, God, that I would be cognizant that you have plans for me here. Whether it's some random person on the street having a very intimate and deep conversation with them, or more likely to have a fulfilling friendship with with this friend. Um, yeah, I just pray that Whatever happens these next three days, three, four days, I would keep you in mind through it all. And that you would keep us safe, keep us um, with shelters, with food, that you would provide for us when we cannot provide for ourselves. Yeah, and I, I especially pray that you'll keep me safe spiritually, that being away from all of my other friends, all of my Christian relationships, it's so easy to be spiritually tempted um, when I don't have any accountability when I'm not here on campus. And so I just pray that, yeah, I would be uh, in your faith and to continue keeping up with my Bible reading, to um, not lose any possessions, not lose um, like my wallet, my passport, my computer, God, if, if you so desire. Yeah. I pray that as this, as I go to bed soon, maybe, <laughs> that you help me to pack efficiently, to be prepared for this trip, and to, uh, most importantly, get all of my other uh, work that needs to be done, done, so that I can approach this precious time that I may... Lord, I, I may never see her again, this, my, my best friend. And let that change how I approach her. I've, I never even considered that this could be the first and last time I ever see her in person. So, Lord, enact on me the things that matter most. Help me to demonstrate and display who you are, Jesus. That you are something beyond all measure. Um, I saw another friend get baptized today. And yeah, that's your love is beautiful, Lord. You change so many lives, most of all mine. Thank you, Lord.
And I pray all of this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, how blessed am I to be in the current situation that I am on the streets of Ottawa, in Canada, at 1.24 a.m. A little chilly, a little windy, but it's exactly what you would desire for me. I can see the lights in the buildings, the purple, the green, the red, the yellow. I see the trees, the passing cars, the clouds in the sky and the stars. Hmm. How blessed am I to be able to experience these things, um, to have organs and uh, like the nerves to be able to understand what I'm feeling and to transmit them into experiences. And that's, none of that is even to compare to the opportunity that you've given me. I didn't think me taking my pants off like that in front to visit my friend Mai um, these past three nights this weekend it's been such a blessing and an extreme pleasure to be able to meet her in person my best friend after a long time of just only knowing her virtually yeah god you've provided me this time to grow a deeper relationship with her and i'm so thankful that you've given me times where i can be bold and express my beliefs about you that I wouldn't shy away out of embarrassment but rather be emboldened for the fact that she's such a close friend to share (laughs) how important and true you are and though I may not be the catalyst for her change and that's that can only be done by you the Holy Spirit Lord I pray that what I've done, what I've said, how I've acted, that it all may point to you. That I may be a light to her and also to, to Chloe. Um, that I may glorify you and that they may see that through me you are glorified. Not by my strength, but yours. Yeah. God, this this night is beautiful. It's it's gonna be short. I'm boarding a flight in a couple of hours, or five six hours. Um, I'm gonna get like three hours of sleep, and probably have my last time seeing her for a while, if not if not ever. <laughs> oh man, that's that's hard to think. Um. Thank you, Lord. Um, I never would have thought that I would have this chance to meet her, <laughs> like ever, since she, uh, just because of our differences and backgrounds and the places that we grew up in, but that you brought her to Canada, um, and you brought me to D.C., <laughs> and that makes it pretty close. Yeah, I pray that in the future we'll be able to meet more, that I don't know perhaps in the future we could be like actual roommates or we could live in uh the same city we could be grow- we could- <sighs> lord if willing let us grow closer and closer together and in more intimate and physical settings to share more about each other learn more about our quirks our <laughs> stupidities <laughs> Yeah, to enjoy this life that you have brought for us. Yeah. Help me to always be focusing on you, Lord. Not to praise myself or to praise her, 
have to only praise you. Yeah, I can. That that's pretty hard for me to do sometimes. I, I admit, Lord, it's it can be a struggle. But I don't know. I felt rather brave these past couple of days. I feel like with her, I'm able to share more about my faith, about what you are, and what you and who you are, Jesus. In comparison to other friends, um, and I, I, I thank you for how that really works. I don't really understand why. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're a mystery, Lord, but you're also definite, just, concrete, and full of faith. You're never changing. Never ending. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. I pray that I may have a safe journey back to my hostel and have a safe journey back to DC. And I pray all this in your son's name. Amen. <sighs> Heavenly Father. I, I, I don't know, sorry, you are just into peace, you are much more divine and stronger than I could ever even imagine to be, and it's so easy to forget who I am because of what you have done, not me. My emotions are so fleeting and one wave of satisfaction and happiness yesterday turns into a series of forgetfulness and um, depression the next. For God, you you remain stable. You remain um, permanently God the whole time. Yeah, um, Jesus, I don't I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I don't know what I'm going through. Um, if it's the accumulation of stress, anxiety, temptations loneliness, but also at the same time, the gifts and opportunities of community, of friends, work, rest, sleep, energy. So many emotions and sensations seem to be clashing. And it's been, it's been a little bit of struggle. It's been a confusing time these past couple of days, especially coming back from, from Canada. It's, I, I don't know what's been going on in my head, Lord. I feel like the times when I'm spending with people are so blessed, the conversations I've been having. But once I'm alone, I feel so alone um yeah i've i'm not sure i i found myself leaving class today and after leaving class i didn't know where to go i just kind of stood there as i've as i've been doing quite a few classes now i just leave my leave the building and I kind of just wander around not really having any destination to go to not really having any goal in mind even though I have quite a number of academics and other tasks that I really need to get on I feel I don't know 
I, I don't know what I'm feeling. Just the sense of emptiness, but perhaps also this perception of taking things more slowly. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm able to talk to you, Jesus, to have these <laughs> basically therapy sessions with you, Lord. <laughs> um, yeah, you are, you're gracious. I thank you for um, allowing me to speak to you so directly, not as some faraway figure in the clouds, um, but as a friend, as a father, as someone who I can lay everything upon, that I'm free to cast all of my doubts and anxieties and fears and confusions onto you. For me to just spiritually collapse on you. What a blessing that is. What? That any other human, any other thing, um, yeah, they wouldn't be able to handle all of my stress if I were to lay out everything. But you are infinite. <laughs> what does that even mean? You're <laughs> infinite. Uh, and your love is has no bounds. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for all of these little um, things here and there that are too many to label. But Lord, you you know, and. Jesus, help me to remain steadfast in my love for you, my love for others, love for myself, being patient yet diligent in all my ways. Lord, give me a clear and productive mind to know that you are the source of all the energy I have. Any type of tiredness or exhaustion. Lord, let that be turned into a gratefulness for how you have used my body, Lord, for your good. Yeah. Lord, there are many things on my mind and many things left unspoken. Um, But before I even say a word, you know exactly what I'm going to say. So I just pray that everything will be according to your will, God. By your strength, not mine, nor my glory, but forever yours. I pray this in your son's name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I have my I have my retainers in, so sorry if it's a little mumbly or spoken poorly. But praise God, praise you for even allowing me to speak in the first place. That I'm in this location, I feel safe. I'm a, oh, for more background, I'm at Liberty University at um, around 1.30 a.m. sitting outside. Yeah, I'm with here with the GU Moot Court team. Here yeah, like a chaperone-ish as like a senior. And I feel very blessed, God, that even, even though I'm not competing, I'm not at, like in the, in the same mindset as them, I feel like I have such an important role that even if they do not recognize it even if I do not recognize it that you have placed me in a spot where I can glorify you as the driver as um, 
an adult, someone who takes responsibility, someone who can, yeah, to look after those who may not be looked at without me, that to, to care for those, to, to notice things. Thank you for like, this beautiful campus that you have given the, us the opportunity to to visit and to meet people in. Um, Lord, I I pray for continued safety and perseverance. That the drive here for three four hour drive was a little stressful, a little um, nerve wracking. A little exhausting, but you allowed me to to work through it to uh, bring everyone here safely. And I pray that tomorrow, as we or today, as we go back, that you may allow me to do the same. And that with the time that we have left, roughly it could be twelve hours, it could be eighteen hours, that you allow me to be a witness to you. That it's it's easy to blend in into the crowd and to. Um, yeah to not be glorifying to you but I pray that you'll help me to set me apart to be holy in situations where it would be easier to not be holy help me to do the hard things help me to um, not fear the the one who may kill my body but the one who may affect what comes after that. And clearly, I don't think anybody here is going to kill my body. (laughs) Um, And I would pray that other people's thoughts and judgments wouldn't affect my testimony for you. That other people's opinions shouldn't stand in the way that I glorify my Lord and Savior. Yet it happens so often where I hold other people's view of me in such high esteem in comparison to how I should hold you. Lord, forgive me for all the times where I've I've done exactly that. Maybe making jokes that are inappropriate or um, condoning specific behaviors or not calling people out or it's hard Uh, I'll be the first one to admit it should be pretty blatantly obvious but it's hard God yeah but I'm I'm so thankful for all these things that you have given to us a place to sleep a place to hang out, have fun, to eat, to compete, to um, do well in these academic slash extracurricular settings. Yeah, it truly is such a blessing to, to have these educational opportunities, to be able to learn the facts about these cases and to apply them. But then also just to spend time with one another in uh, settings outside of campus, settings outside of our classrooms. Being able to hold more deeper conversations, conversations about failure or uh, discrimination, or even about contraceptions, abortion. Well, yeah, (laughs) this, I mean, this moot court this case that we had this year has been quite the uh, quite the controversial one, and I pray that, however may, however I may proceed from here, Lord, let me keep you in my mind always. Yeah, I just pray that the rest of this trip goes safely, Lord willing, and that I may keep you, Jesus, in my mind through all of this. I pray that this rest of the night will be beautiful. I pray that in your name. Amen.
Heavenly Father, blessed are you, O Lord, King of the universe, who is and is to come, that you control all of our lives in ways that we could never imagine. So many things that we ourselves are so flawed to, to even think about that for my sake, uh, so many struggles, so many failures, so many trips and falls, but still, God, you have seen my plan through it all, that you are building my story in a way that I could never even imagine, and that I should praise you for this life and the struggles that I maintain has an expiration date that there is a time when I can no longer mess up because you will have provided me with the ultimate power. Jesus, I am so thankful that I am not in control of my own life for there are things that I do that are inconceivably wrong but there are also things that i do that are inconceivably great that i cannot do on my own i can never do these things the way that i now boldly assert my faith to um both strangers and close friends alike that's something that i have struggled with for years but only now recently Lord, have I felt such joy to do with? That's, that's only a blessing from you, not for my own um, public speaking or my own biblical knowledge, but the words and the writings that come from me that bless you are because they come from you, Lord. And I, I am especially thankful for the journey that I have walked along with one of my close friends. And tonight she, I hope I'm not misquoting or like a straw manning or whatever. I believe that she claims to only just now have become a Christian in these past, in this past academic semester. Um, Despite having been raised in a Christian home for, I believe, her entire life, I believe just in these past few weeks or months that she has finally decided to call you Lord, genuinely. And God, when so much of her testimony (laughs) mirrors mine, and to see how not only that I have influenced her, how she has influenced me, that we have, we are building each other up. We are growing, I believe, in the same direction. I, I pray that we will continue to do so, Lord, because not through our own strength, Lord. We are so bad. We have so many flaws that there are so many priorities that we often hold above you, Lord, but you have decided to call us your children. And once you say that, that's that. God, nothing I can do, nothing she can do, nothing that any Christian can do can separate your love from us. So Father, I I pray that we will continue to trust in you. Continue to uphold your wisdom and your plans and your will over ours that even though we have no idea what comes before us even though we still have many struggles and pressures and stress during these days we recognize that you are so much more significant than any of those if i am to fail all of my tests from here on out to drop out to live in a box, to lose all of my friends, 
but because through your, my proclamations of you, Lord, let me rejoice from the highest mountain that, yes, if I lose all of my possessions for your sake, my blessings in heaven will be infinitely more than the losses I've made on this earth. And though I, I claim to be more assertive nowadays, there are still plenty of times when I withhold my, my beliefs. And there are times when I still sin deeply. So I pray that you help me to be accountable. Help, help her to be accountable. And help each other to be accountable for each other. That we may be able to share the things that we have received because of you. And that we may be bold to proclaim you because your faith and your sacrifices for us. Let us never... Let us never forget what Jesus has done for us. And please remind us of just how desperate we are to need his saving grace day after day. Thank you, Father. And I pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. By your strength, not mine, nor my glory, but forever yours. Amen.